Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dan Keysbro YouTube channel where today we're going to be going over the controversial Arctic Monkeys video essay which was polarizing to say the least. It's currently the most hated video on my channel by far. It's almost impressively at an exact 50-50 like to dislike ratio. It has the most amount of comments a video of mine's ever got on apart from the Quadeca one which only slightly beats it despite having five times the number of views and it's the second most viewed video on the channel which is uh, actually a lot better than I thought it would do. It did a lot better than I thought it would do. And whilst we're here I might as well revealed to you that it made about 22 quid and got me about 100 new subscribers. Not entirely relevant to this video, but some of you might find it interesting, so why not? Viewership and traffic declined drastically when it became ineligible for monetization and stuff there. Which I think the 1975 stiffed me. I think they were the ones that got it taken down. Well, not them directly, but you know what I mean. Anyway, people really don't like this video, as I'm sure you're all aware. Like, the most liked comment on the video is this guy who made this video is an idiot, a sad loser, which has almost as many likes as the video itself. <laughs> like, Fair enough, I pinned it, but that is still mental. So I thought we'd go over some of the feedback that the lovely people who viewed this video are giving me. Now I'm always open to changing my video making methods, because clearly this one didn't go over very well, so maybe I'm just doing something wrong. You can't expect a band to remain the same for 17 years. The boys have grown up. You should too. Now, condescending remark aside, I do get this one quite a lot. And it is on paper a reasonable thing to say. The Arctic Monkeys have changed like any other band, and if they were to stay the same, people would probably be complaining about that as well. However, it's the complete disregard and almost disdain for what made them so popular to begin with that sort of sits iffy with me. That on top of the fact that there are so many other bands who did it so much better, whether it be the Beatles or the Strokes, both of whom took the sound that they started with and evolved in a couple of years to something that sounded a lot more different but still maintained what made them so great to begin with. I think Blur's transition into the Gorillas is an incredible example of this, and if the Arctic Monkeys were to do something more similar to that as opposed to what they've done now, where everything just seems so manufactured despite the mature sound that they have, then I probably wouldn't be criticizing it as much as I am. In fact, another commenter worded it beautifully uh, in response to another comment saying a similar thing. As the Arctic Monkeys evolve, they have become less creative. The car really isn't that experimental, it's just different. Different for being different sake. Other bands have come and changed up their sound completely and really truly thrown themselves into the deep end, like Radiohead with Kid A, but as I said, the car doesn't really do that. And to add on to that, the sort of Baroque pop sound that the car goes for is so much worse than what you could be listening to. Like, why would you choose to listen to the car over something like David Bowie or Frank Sinatra, who both do the style in magnificently better ways? It's been 17 plus years since they started, many great bands don't even last that much, their concerts still get sold out in 45 minutes, blah 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 blah. That's not really how it works though, is it? Also, obviously Alex isn't performing 505 the same way as they started. You cannot expect him to still have the same feelings 14 years ago now. Again, that's fine, he probably doesn't have those same feelings, so singing it with that same emotion might be difficult, but the problem is he doesn't really sing 505 with any emotion. It's so pretentious. Like, what is he doing with his voice? It's clear the band isn't trying to sound like they were when they were younger. Their new stuff is amazing, especially the lyrical work. Don't think it's fair at all to say the band is garbage. Lol. I do appreciate that that comment isn't as, you know, mean as a lot of the other ones. Not that I particularly care. I think the mean ones are quite funny. You know, but it's clear that this person is reasonable. And I know this is quite controversial, but I don't think the lyrical work is really anything too special nowadays. And if it is, it's being lost on me because of just how sanitized it is. Go to the 29 minute mark where he starts bashing on Alex Turner and comparing him to his older self and tell me he's not just being nostalgic. I don't really have much nostalgia for the Arctic Monkeys and their first album. I was born about two, three years before that album release, so to have nostalgia for it would be pretty impossible, or at least very difficult. It's more so the fact that no matter who you are, the album can make you feel nostalgia. And as much people compliment the lyrics from their modern albums, the lyrics in that first album are incredible as well. In my opinion, a lot better. They just perfectly capture the feeling of being young in the UK so well. I could probably recount entire songs from that album just from memory. Lyrics like, well, it's ever so funny, and I'm thinking of special when I think you're cool. You're just probably your age, but none of these lies you look beautiful, and I'm struggling. I can't see through your face. Oh, so, so, so good. And the delivery and the way that it's said and the instruments behind it are just a cherry on top. IMO, his voice is the savior of the album. Tranquility Bass had way better instrumentals. The car is all right, but Alex's voice is dope and spot on for this piece. Definitely not. Yes, I do agree that Tranquility Bass had way better instrumentals, but Alex's voice is not dope and does not save anything from that album. It works well in some songs like Body Paint, I guess. If you go and listen to a song like Hello You, you can't defend the voice 
voice at all. The later albums just feel way less accessible to me as the first few do. Take Gorillaz for example. Their sound has changed quite significantly but they still manage to maintain something that is recognisable and can still be enjoyed by fans of their older content. Chef's Kiss. Beautiful comment. Agree completely. It would be so much sadder to see a 35 year old Alex write a song lusting over a girl in a nightclub compared to his epic and grandiose tale of cheating and body pain. I agree. I completely agree. I think body pain is an incredible example of what the Arctic Monkeys could be if they were good. And if the whole album was as great as Body Paint is, I wouldn't have made that video because I wouldn't have had a problem with the album, or at least to the extent that I did. Songs like that are proof to me that they still have talent, which just makes them not being enjoyable that much more sad. The Bad Thing and AM in no way deserve the hate they got. No, they did, they did. The Bad Thing is one of the worst songs I've ever heard from a big budget band. I disagree and this is an L take for me. Hmm. They're more popular than ever with their resurgence in popularity on TikTok and a lot of Gen Z loves them. Since when was that a marker for like high quality music? Songs from AM has gained a lot more streams after the surge and that's the album music nerds think is trash. Yeah, that's probably because it is trash. That means they did something right. If you consider making tacky commercial music that appeals to the most general audience as possible as right, then I guess, sure, go ahead. Evolve and adapt instead of staying the same sound. I wouldn't say they've evolved and adapted, I would just say they've changed. Let's not lie, AM is a great album from start to finish. What do you mean, let's not lie? Does that imply that I'm lying about my opinion? There is obviously a reason why it's so successful. Success doesn't mean it's good. This should be common knowledge in the music industry by now. I hope they don't see this. It will break their hearts. It definitely won't, mate. I don't think the Arts at Monkeys particularly care about some rando's opinion. Wrong, they've evolved into actual musicians who produce some pretty timeless shit. That comment kind of infers that they weren't actual musicians to begin with, which I completely oppose. And in terms of timelessness, I think in 30 years or so, we'll be focusing a lot more on those first two albums than the last two. Bud, I love the car. You're looking for teenage eyes from a mature and more self-aware album. Love this album and each new turn in the Arctic Monkeys catalog. All right, well, good for you. That's fine. You, you can have that opinion all you want. I'm not trying to change anyone's opinion here. Why would you have to call me Bud though? Like you're gonna start a fight with me. You're looking for teenage eyes from a mature and self-aware album. I, would, I wouldn't exactly call the album mature and I think it's one of the least self-aware albums that I've heard in years, to be honest with you. Here at the car, you start a personal rant that might show you're blind to the quality of this album and then two full stops never mind what a strange i don't know exactly i have no idea what to take from this we're just going to move on see these right here these are fair comments i'm not going to read them all because they're very long but if you want an example of what i you know love to see in the comment section more than anything just you can have a pause and have a quick 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 skim through these enjoyed reading all three of these guys comments much love if you're watching this no, you are just love them being pop. Remember that they were indie in the first place. I hate people like these even more when they express themselves through nothing but personal thoughts. How the fuck else am I meant to express myself? Surely the whole point of expressing yourself is personal thoughts. Self and personal are very similar words. How are you supposed to express yourself without giving personal thoughts? If I were to go onto a video and read out their ticket sales and how well they're doing and like percentages and shit, that's not really expressing myself. You don't hate people that express themselves with nothing but personal thoughts, you just hate people that express themselves and that don't agree with you. Which is such a boring and weak mindset to have. If you hate people like these, then fuck off, you don't need to watch me. I want to be yours as a cover of John Cooper Clark's song poem so the criticism of the lyrics should not be aimed at Turner. Which is why I didn't aim the criticism of the lyrics at Turner. I know. So many people pointing this out like I don't know. Just because the lyrics are taken from some random poem it doesn't mean I need to enjoy the song. It's still a really boring song with really weird lyrics. <laughs> it's beautiful, I just don't like it. Which is a quote that I said from the video. I swear I talk about how the sound is beautiful but I don't like it. I just watched the video. Man, sorry to break it to you but that kind of sounds like a you problem yes bang on it is it's a me problem right it is my opinion at the end of the day it's not i'm not i'm not saying anyone else's opinion other than my own also i really struggle to understand how you haven't seen the improvement in his vocal performance over the years can't compare his current voice to the voice he had in 2006 it's two completely different things his vocal control is so much better and his range has improved significantly maybe it has but not enough to pull off what he's trying to in the car to me his pitch doesn't sound off key at all well you clearly don't 
don't have an ear for pitch then, because listen to Hello You, like I said before, it's bad. Leave it, bro, listen to something else, no one is forcing you, LMAO. I think your username sums up what I think of this comment. But how do you not see the blaring irony in saying that no one's forcing me to listen to their music when no one's forcing you to watch my video about not liking their music? And I'm not saying I disagree with you watching it. If you want to watch it, that's fine. But if I want to make a video about a band that I'm not too fond of, that's fine as well. Especially since I think I have a lot to say about it, considering that I do like some of their older stuff. It means I can come up with a more interesting and enjoyable to watch viewpoint, I feel. Some humour and levity might make your reviews bearable. How much humour and levity were you expecting? I thought the I thought the intro might be a little bit too unprofessional, to be honest with you. In fact, looking back, it probably was. I probably should have toned it down just a little bit. I don't know, I thought there was a decent amount of levity and humour in it, to be honest with you. This is what I just fucking hate so much, is like he's trying to he's gonna come at me like, oh, I'm just critic it's just criticism, man, but you've not actually given any direct criticism. You just it's just sort of this blanket statement. Like if you could be a bit more specific, I'd appreciate that. I think your parents would be more proud if you stopped making video essays. Teach yourself a skill slash hobby and stopped watching media for young adolescents. I don't know where you got the watching media for young adolescents thing. I mean I guess if you go on my channel's history there's like minion stuff. But I don't think this guy, you know, he clearly doesn't like me, so I, I'm not too sure if he did that. Also, your parents would be more proud. It's just a, just a very rude thing to say. Like, why would you want... Like, come on, man. Like, why? By naming your video, the Arctic Monkeys are garbage now, which is a definitive statement of quality. All right, mate, calm down. When what you actually mean was, I don't like Arctic Monkeys now. I guess that's not the worst title in the world, but I think the first one is more provocative and therefore people will click on it more. Which I know is a bit of a dodgy thing to say and a bit of a strange thing to base your video titles on. But I made 22 quid and that's like two deliveries, so I'm not too sure I regret it. You will get more views, but your comments become a cesspit of people trying to argue that subjective media is objectively good or bad. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. I get, you know, you, I, you know what, this guy is right. He's, he says a lot of good points, but I do kind of prefer the cesspit of hateful comments with more views than less views and no comment. It's not like those reasonable people won't have seen the video if it was titled something less provocative. It just means that more people will see it. It's like the addition of those, I guess, unreasonable people, if you want to call them that. As long as I'm not steering people away who are genuinely appreciative of what I have to say, then it's not the worst thing in the world for me. But you know, that's that's more of a subjective thing. Like People have different mindsets than that. So, you know, I'm not too angry at this comment. I called Alex and co. are super worried and offended about what this random guy said. See, why, why, why do you care so much then? If they don't care why do you care so much p.s if they kept doing the same thing over yeah okay whatever we've heard it before tldr arctic monkeys are garbage because this guy doesn't like them now nah. i'm not saying you need to think they're garbage as well i'm so sick of getting comments like these which i left i told i told this man that exact thing which i guess was a bad idea because he decided to respond with a whole epq about it as soon as he does some experimental songwriting the structure is awkward and clumsy and he can't sing right the structure is awkward and clumsy and so like if you listen to tranquility based hotel and can see Knows, like title track the hook is so clumsy like if, if you ask someone to sing the melody of it even if they're like a hardcore Arctic Monkeys fan I'd be surprised if they could jokes on you for making a 30 minute video just to call a band garbage now I think jokes on you for writing a whole essay to pretend me that I'm wrong right I made 22 quid off my video you got two likes so have that haha <laughs> if I find a band garbage I would certainly not spend a few days of my life making a half hour statement about it. good for you man well I I would fuck off then I've not got much to say about this comment thread, I just think it's quite funny really. So basically you haven't moved on since 2006, kinda sad dude. I was born in 2003, so to not have moved on from when I was what, like two, three years old? Yeah, that would be kinda sad to be fair. This band is getting sold out for almost every concert in three different continents for 2023, and you could hardly get five people to your birthday. I really don't think they are garbage now. Just shut up and stop hating the world. Okay, so a couple- First of all, why are you defending them like you're their manager or something? Like, your description of them selling out in three different contexts is like, it's so, like, specific. Like, why have you looked into them this much? Like, you're so defensive over these, these people who have no idea who you are. You could hardly get five people to your birthday. I- I think five- five people is a decent amount of people to have on your birthday, personally. Like, five close friends. Is there anything wrong with that? Is that weird? Like, yeah, I'm actually curious now. Like, is that- is that a weird thing? I think five people's a reasonable number. Like, when it gets all mental, I guess, you, have, you know, if you're having, like, a party or something, then five people is a bit dead. But if it's just, like, general chit-chat, have a fucking cake, five people seems fine to me. You don't want to overcrowd it. Shut up and stop hating the world. I think you, you seem a lot more hateful than I am, you know, like, telling me about how lonely I am, 
stuff like well, oh my and you respond the car is a beautiful album might be too beautiful for a person like you and you tell me to stop hating the world what's wrong with you man nice way to gain view and hatred comment by doing this type of information you know what I love I love that YouTube recommended like auto replies that are like sassy and snarky and stuff I don't know something about that just is quite funny to me but no it is actually a good way to gain view and attention and money as well 22 quid baby I'm gonna go and check the hell for review section now it's like a, a little cesspool that YouTube smacks comments in that they deem to be like unworthy or too hateful lol you know shit about anything I don't know man because the, the grammar there makes it sound like a compliment he's like you know you know you know something about everything don't you maybe you're just garbage could be it could be you are the most shittiest creator on earth they are the greatest band ever to be fair I do think that I'm closer to being the worst creator on earth than they are to being the best band ever you're a talentless idiot you can't play anything except your willy and you can't write anything except your name go and wank over the pigeon detectives you clown the pigeon detectives are good I don't know what What's, what's this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Can't play anything except your willy. I beg to differ. Alright, I've saved the best till last because th this comment right here, like this is the, if you're gonna remember any, it's gonna be this one. The main issue here is this is being suggested to people who regularly listen, who regularly, li the main issue here is this is being suggested to people who regularly, li fucking hell. The main issue here is this is being suggested to people who regularly listen to Arctic Monkeys slash their live shows on YouTube. I actually got a notification about it, so you're gonna continue to get hate while it stays up. So far, I'm very happy with the comment, that's a very fair thing to say, and it's a good bit of information, and I appreciate her telling me where she came from, it's a very helpful thing to say. Well done, thank you very much, Georgia Rowe. And it continues. On the other hand, you have little to no idea what you're talking about. The fact that you're good at editing and clearly academic. Thank you very much, I genuinely appreciate that. It is my job. Commissions are open, so if you want me to edit something for you, or just want to tell me that you hate me, my Instagram is on the screen now. If you don't use Insta, just hit me up some other way, my email or something, whatever. Your wider music knowledge is clearly lacking. That's why the real reviews are left to people who are interviewed for serious journalistic positions based on having just that. A wide and vast music knowledge and taste. Something you are clearly lacking and perhaps age will instill in you. It isn't even a very good academic report as there isn't equally weighted time slash research put into each album. Some of the most highly rated albums in terms of reviews and sales had very little time spent on them by you, at least in your final edit of this video. Well, at no point was I ever trying to make an academic report to start off with. And also, the video was supposed to be a car review and it just sort of turned into something bigger when I realized I had all to say about the Arctic Monkeys. So I think it makes sense that I didn't spend a huge amount of time on albums like AM or Suck It and See, which I don't have as much to say about. So at first, I quite appreciated the comment and the, I guess, kind way she phrased it. It felt like she meant well with it, but there weren't really any specific critiques or anything that I could derive to change from that comment, so. So I asked her, what are some examples of my music knowledge clearly lacking? What are some things I said that you disagree with and why do you disagree with them? I think a perfectly fair question to ask considering the original comment. She disagrees, however. I will answer this question if you reply to all of your other negative comments with the same level of leading question. I don't know how my question was leading in any way. I thought it was rather open-ended, actually. I feel I wasted enough of my time watching this video that I never would have watched if YouTube's algorithm hasn't suggested it to me by mistake. Well then why are you spending this time commenting on it then? Like, these are quite long comments, you clearly put a couple minutes into them. As I feel you deliberately posted it to upset people. Not my intention. As most people sharing negative reviews of things, they just don't seem to like often do. If you want to change my opinion as a fan, you won't. Well that's fine, but because I don't particularly care about changing your opinion as a fan. Like, why would I care about that? I don't give a fuck if you listen to the Arctic Monkeys, you can listen to what you want. And I suggest you spend a lot more time looking up 60s and all-era French garage style and crooner style artists before you attack Alex Turner's growth into an adult. Fuck me. That is the most pretentious and whiny thing I've heard in my entire goddamn life. The scene they reflected doesn't exist anymore. The country they spoke about and its struggles are now vastly different. And on top of that, he is a millionaire and has been for 10 plus years. So we'd have no place commenting on those scenes or struggles even if they did exist. But he is in an interesting position where he has gained that, you know, rise to fame from nothing. So if you want to mature as a band, you could write songs with that in mind. 
You would do well to look up some noughties British sociology up next time you want to make an academic style assessment of the band and Turner's artistic product and process compared between 02 and 22. But more than that will result in us arguing, so I hope that satisfies you, although you do seem very difficult to please. But the whole thing, you need to look up sociology for 20 years and the French style 60s garage rock or whatever the fuck. No, I don't. I don't need to do what I didn't realize I had to fucking devote my entire life to the Arctic Monkeys and everything their music was based upon. You really have to fucking marry Alex Turner just to have a fucking opinion on the Arctic Monkeys music. It's bullshit. And once again, you tell me to do all these things and you didn't give me a single fucking critique. Like, fair enough, the wording was pretty, but when you look down at what you've actually done here, you've just eloquently called me dumb for about two, three paragraphs. So don't come at me with this fucking higher than mighty wise position when you've not done nothing. Anyway, that's the video, man. I, th I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I might do this more often if I come out with a video that is as contentious as this one, which I'm sure I will in the future. But for now, we'll, we'll end it here. As always, all likes comments and subscriptions are very much appreciated. Much love to you all. I'll catch you in a bit.